and this is the part you have to do. We we, we chatted about two weeks they ago. They were saying on the yeah, phone, yeah. Right, yeah, but, yeah. The, but you're, you're obviously a glutton for punishment. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, the way I look at it is that the more I... The more I can get from you, the more I get to do it for you. So, Great. Oh, you know, good, good, Dan. Right. I like it. I like it. Sorry I'm a couple of minutes late. Was, no uh, problem. Tra traffic is fun this time of the afternoon on our little roads. So. Getting nuts. You know. Yeah. But you were in Cape Town. Which video were you shooting? It's going to be uh, the second single second from the single. album. Yeah. War Babies, it's called. And, um, nice track. It's a nice track. Mm. And the whole idea of making videos now, they're hardly novel things anymore. Yeah, They've yeah. been done to death. But yeah. It's still the fundamental thing of looking for A, looking for good pictures mm. and B, like the album as I was probably saying to you, anywhere you feel good is bound to mm. heighten the art. Yeah. yeah. And um, since our last visit we've been looking for excuses to come back. Yeah, in fact, although I'm here, my, my partner Charlie is yeah. he stayed on in Cape and really this time to look at uh, possible rehearsal or mm. recording places mm. so um, find well he's, he's doing it uh, at the moment speak, oh, yeah. so he's, he's still down there. so um, it was more you know when you make a video you put it out to tender and all the mm. different directors come up with an idea and probably the concept of this idea ironically was more Australian it's an idea of a walkabout mm. and, and, okay. and but it didn't have to be Australian yeah. you know, so where, where, where could it be and yeah Cape Town and mm. director also New Cape Town. Oh, okay. And then for a second we get, and it was only a second we get in this crazy thing of well we can't go there because of the title of the song it's too yeah, yeah. Uh, resonant and stuff and yeah. then we thought to hell with it. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that's that. And well, this is now, now. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And um, I guess we were looking at it probably through cynical British eyes. Yeah. And, well. It uh, can only be, I mean, because yeah. you're not... There, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, we said to hell with it, you know, it's yeah. going to be uh, fantastic pictures. And mm. so, probably drifted through 10 different locations, and um, it really was. By the time we left, just it was all, apart from the director, everyone else was local. Okay, that's nice. And by last night's... Uh, uh, by last night, it wasn't a party, just a drink. Yeah. Everyone was best of friends, uh, yeah. swapping addresses. And Which is nice. It is nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I said, the, um, have you, you know, I mean, obviously, as they were doing the footage, did you, did you, have you seen any sort of parts of, of the footage that's been shot so far? I saw on a monitor, yeah. you know, was there, but even that's hardly, but yeah. it looked, I mean, these things, videos in general, are, they're, they're, until they're put, put together, it's hard, but. Yeah. This director really seemed to have the measure of it. I mean, he really, and he was, he had such a great plan worked out, but mm. was still able to yeah. improvise. Yeah. And I think he's got some great, great stuff. And, and I think the combination of images yeah. he's put put together and, yeah. and the great, uh, whoever was doing the recce and did a fantastic mm. job of find, finding places in Cape Town that, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah. Thing. yeah. And more to do with characters and faces and places, and as opposed to, uh, you know, mm. a touristic swing through. Sure, Although sure. you can't get away from the yeah, rock, and you and, and yeah. would want to because yeah. it is so impressive. Yeah, yeah. But do you, is that sort of an element that you still enjoy doing as the videos? Um, on one like that, yes. Yeah. I mean, still the idea of walking through somewhere miming. Yeah, is, is it's a, a bit, bit ridiculous. Hard. Yeah, it's a bit you hard. know, and and do you know, these types of music playing or. We do, but it's still ridiculous. It does. It's <laughs> bloody ridiculous, and, and it's hard to. Uh, it's yeah. about, well, it's it's not hard to not not think about it, but it's hard to keep the reality. Yes. Piercing through occasionally. Yeah. What are we fucking yeah, doing? Just take nice pictures, and we'll stand here. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's one of those things yeah, that you're meant to be walk, walking through the, walking down the railway track yesterday, singing uh, uh, this song. But it was more recognizing mm. the song than. Yeah, you know, delivering it because that would be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Sort of sound of music. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> that yeah, would be quite novel. Mm. But um, as I say, we we spoke about the album, but I thought we could um, probably get a, a little bit more on you, mm. which is probably Fine. annoying. But um, as I say, I was thinking, so driving here in the car, that twenty years plus, really, for you um, in the music industry. You know, when when is it when is it good to sort of say, 
enough is enough or you know just from you know I, I was sort of trying to put myself in your shoes and thinking well as much as it's a career and it's great but you know you up against so much and then you come down and is it you know what is it about it that you know I mean do you you definitely don't need to do this you're doing this because you want to do it hopefully. well this is that it's true I mean the, the house and the, the house and the boat is waiting yeah, in the south yeah, of France yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean as much as it's great I mean as I say please don't take it as a reflection of the album but I mean you know I mean everybody does something obviously to, to make a, to make money from it so that hopefully one day they don't have to worry about yeah you know yeah. Um, I think we're we're forgetting one crucial thing here, yeah. and I do as well. It's yeah. just what we do. I, I, I hate to, so even on myself, to sound so one-dimensional yeah. because I'm, actually I'm not. Yeah. I would love and I'd, I can't wait to study and learn languages. I can't wait to spend, I can't wait to go to different places and spend some real time yeah, as, as, opposed, time, as yeah. opposed to drifting through. I can't wait to, uh, at some point, I am going to have to put this away, go back back to Glasgow. I say have to, I, I want to. Yeah. And get involved with some sort of arts, you know, centre. I, I do. It's something I want want to do. Something I feel I'd be be great at. There's all this stuff to do. Yeah. It just intrinsically feels like unfinished business. Yeah. And you know, regardless of uh, whatever so-called symbols of success mm. the band has obviously mm. achieved, or, or and I guess you stop when you don't have any more ideas, and yeah. and you've and you're no longer enjoying it. Mm. And um, I mean, even it's even now the way that. In the, the internet goes and stuff. Even it's, even if the label, great. even if the label was to say, or yeah. any label see yeah. it, we could still do our own yeah. different things. Yeah, so, absolutely. So simple means, and from I was probably talking to you after we launched this this yeah. site, and from people from Kurdistan, yeah. to Reykjavik. Yeah, I was watching. I was watching. You, you know, it, yeah. it, it, Argentina. It's, it's scary, isn't it? It, it is scary. So. Yeah. It's kind of always there now. Yeah. It's a I think it's, yeah, yeah. it's going to be a lot of fields in the banjos. <laughs> but you know, every two weeks yeah. a year, yeah. after after the tomatoes have grown this yeah. year and we've picked them, we should yeah. do an album. <laughs> um, it's what we are, and yeah. it's it's so in, ingrained. Yeah. Um, is it a nice place to be? It is. It's a very nice place to be because there is that that choice. I mean, it's the ones you see coming back together. You know, there's yeah. Like, Electric bill needing paid and such. Yeah, 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 and you're going, oh my god, yeah. You know, and you think, yeah. god, that's sad. And, you know, when you, they get like punch drunk yeah. boxers and they, they're probably coming out here, and I shouldn't say this because they're probably going to have fans, true. but yeah. people yeah. always roll out to say, well, the Rolling Stones have done it. I say, the Rolling Stones have not done it. No, you know, no. Creatively. It's yeah, like no, I mean, they're for. just lucky that people enough people are still buying into what they do. Yeah, it's, it's almost... There's, it's, there's it's, no respect there. It's a bit like going to see the Modern Homes exhibition. Yeah. Of, of You know, people just go because yeah. it's... It's there. It's, it's you there. Know, and there's all the... You or, know, or like going to see a military show. Yeah. You know, people go yeah, to see exactly. those things. Exactly. It's got nothing to do... Nothing to do. got to do with, with, you know, heritage. Yeah. And um, and they are not the example. And, and no, I mean... And I, I certainly don't... I know that from... I certainly don't crave that. Uh, I don't crave that. Oh, I must be on stage, and I. I well, must, I mean, I think that's that. that's probably a lot to do with the reason why the band is still so successful today, and it's, it's, it's still respected because it's almost as if you know you're doing it for the for the right reasons. You're not I think doing so. It for the typical, you know, the I obvious. I think so. I mean, it's so great. Don't get me. I mean, it's so great when you're on the top of the charts, and I probably say sure. that you know, but. The weight of it all it yeah. does, even though no one says it to you, and it's still fun because it's fun. You mm. think, "Come on, I shouldn't complain. This is yeah. what I always wanted." Yeah, and you. but uh, it's that thing of we, you know, we obviously we love what we do. We want to do it. We do everything to let let people know it exists, mm. and we hope that it means means something to them. If it doesn't, we'll be doing another one next year, you know, yeah. and maybe it'll be better, maybe it'll be worse, maybe yeah. Yeah. maybe the fashion will have changed, mm. and and it's. As we've become so much more, ironically, as we've become so much more sort of relaxed, mm. we have more energy and, and we're more adaptable and mm. it matters as much yet doesn't really matter at all. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, it is true. Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks ago, we uh, it was two weeks ago, we really wanted to get on this TV show in, in Britain and they, they were wavering. It's one of these big um, viewership shows and... Right. They, were, they were wavering and they were going to have us and Madonna was coming and it wasn't happening and we knew and then she wasn't coming and we really wanted that yeah. and we didn't get it and yeah. for about two minutes Charlie and I you know, we yeah, kicked, yeah. The, 
kick the walls and stuff. And then we said, <laughs> the weather's looking good today. You know? <laughs> Let's go. Let's get the boat yeah. out. You yeah. Know? yeah. It's, it's yeah. sort of like, yeah. it's not to say we don't try our hardest. No, sure. But because that's important too, because people pick that up. I mean, I think your audience is incredibly critical. Like yeah. I'm saying to you, um, yeah, yeah. you know, that every album you bring out, yeah. uh, you've still got fans that, you know, bought Come the through. first album. Yes, that's um, true. And, and they are gauging you yeah. in every album. So you bring out a bad album. They're the you first know, people yeah. to... So um, it's, 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 it's so important to us, but at the same time, uh, I think really the answer to it all is you, you stop when you're just not enjoying it, mm -hmm. and and or you know, and I think you do have to enjoy it all because to get a record out now uh, and to get it across, it's it's you know so much more and more about all yeah. of this, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and and it's not for Good everyone. Are they? Everyone tapped? No, I'd love a cup of, what are you having? Coffee, coffee would you like? Uh, yeah, a cup of coffee, water. coffee's good. For me also. Thanks. Took into coffee. Yeah. We weren't going to have one, but you smooth talked us into it. Thank <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah. Um, that's about it. When it's no longer doing it for you and, mm. and you just... Uh, I mean, when, when you look at, you know, the last 20 years, when you, when you look at when you started, how difficult it was in a different context when trying to establish yourself but now you, when you look at the industry today and the amount of material yeah. that is out there compared yeah. to even 10 years ago yeah um, you know it was it was slightly easier to get your stuff heard but yes. when you look at it now and you just got this wall yeah. of and say 80 percent of it is gunk but you've got to either get over that or through that yeah um, you know how, how does you know how has that changed well, you, as I say, you certainly have to have the mentality. It's that right side of the brain and left yeah. side, you know. Yeah. It's like, here we are, and you've got to, got to go to the record companies and almost take them by the hand. Because, mm. I don't know, they're expecting us maybe to be jaded or, or be tired or afraid to give us bad news or something. And we go, this, this is our band, but it's also our business. Mm. And we say, what's, what's the story? Okay, yeah. why are they not, not getting it, do yeah. you think? And they yeah. say, well, you haven't got a hope in hell. They're just not playing your kind of stuff. Yeah. Fair, okay. So where else can, can yeah, we what go? what can we do? We yeah. can get you on a football show. Yeah. Okay. Do Good. It. Yeah, I'll do it. You know, yeah. I mean, you, I don't... There's whatever. no point. Yeah, there's no point. There's that you no can, point. Yeah. I'm not going to be, you know... Oh, God. Yeah, precious about it and say, well, we'll only do that, but we won't yeah. do Fair that. Fair enough. And I, and I think there's a lot of that with Simple Minds at the moment. Again, we're in this stage where we're too... We're too old to be the <laughs> up and coming yet we're, we're not getting the respect of I'm not saying this in a in a, a bemoaning fact don't don't get me wrong no one owes yeah. us anything but the sheer years involved you we're, expect we're, we're not at that Neil Young stage yet or yeah well, that's approaching fast yeah well well no they've all got 10 on us yeah you know and it's like yeah. hey they're the real thing you know <laughs> yeah they're, we're still an 80s band you know so yeah that's that's a terrible t thing because the, the whole 80s syndrome is, is, is a problem because it was I mean, to say that was, I mean, I'm an 80s child, for God's sake, so I, I mean, I grew up with, exactly. with, with what you were doing. Yeah. And the 80s aren't really known as being a classic, you know, a, well, I mean, as much as to me, it's classic. Yeah. But, you know, the 70s were. It's the next one. Yeah. I, I, I remember the 70s the same, but yeah. I do remember the 70s, yeah. like, ha ha, yeah. who would wear flares? Yeah, yeah. You know, and then Lenny Kravitz <laughs> arrived. Wow. Wow, yeah. Um, yeah. And I think... Not that I'm holding out, believe me, I'm not like <laughs> looking at the calendar. But you got two years to go. Yeah. Uh, you watch, we'll uh, be laughing, you know, and uh, we'll say, who would have thought, you know. Mm. It'll be that two or three years and it's like, wow, the yeah. 80s were so cool. Yeah. And um, OMD, what a band. Oh, uh, yeah, it, but it, they were. Well, they were, exactly. But, but you see, the thing is that you, you know, it's how things work as well, is that you get compared to the OMDs who yeah. tried and tried in the early 90s. Um, I mean, if you have, to, you can probably count on, uh, you know, on, on ten fingers, the amount of bands from the eighties that were still going in the nineties. So and it's the ones that, that toured. That yes. Time. Yeah. Because if you tour, and you're good at that. Yeah. Logically, you've got a fan base yeah. that even if you bit crap mm. or you're not mm. getting the breaks, mm. that's there's always that encouragement. And I mean, like whether it was the Cure or whether yeah. it was yeah. Deep Ash Mode, yeah. and they, they toured. Yeah. And they toured a lot. And yeah. Harry M. And people respect that because, I mean, I know as a, as a music fan, that's that's what you want from a band. It's sort of the real thing. Yeah. It's, it's accepted yeah. as the real yeah. thing. Or certainly, I, not now because raves are the real thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. still battling a bit with that. But yeah, yeah. yeah. but 
it's sort of yeah. you, you can't take it away. No, it's modern culture. You, it's you, just you, you just you you know. Whereas if you're a band that's played and you say this is what we do, we mm. it's our craft, it's our trade. We're entertainers. We we did it in pubs, we did it in stadiums, we mm. do it with Pavarotti, we do mm. it with whoever. Mm. You know, the nosebleeds. It's it's yeah. it's and yeah. yeah. There is always that. If if you sort of have to look at um, simple minds. And Oops. please, Tom, if you had to sort of categorize, well, in, in, in your in your mind, what was the finest hour for the band up till now? Not to say yeah. that the, that your finest hour is still to come, because, I mean, the possibilities I know are. what you mean. Well, you, you're tempted to say when it, you know, comes together, both sort of critically and yeah. commercially, but the finest hour is probably when you're enjoying it the most. I mean, you, you have to... If you were to look at the finest hour, then you have to get out the, the charts and mm. say, "Well, it was that and that." But that's rather yeah. and, and in fact, quite often those they they were the the symbols of the finest hour. Mm. But I mean, it's, it's, a, it's all been part and parcel. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah, there's one, no one part one that's bigger really than the other. One couldn't live without the yeah. other. Yeah. I mean, we enjoyed ever so much. Um, playing with this orchestra before Christmas, we enjoyed the period where a and men were coming up on the plane mm. from London to see as we mm. enjoyed the Mandela concerts, mm. we enjoyed breaking through the big league in America, mm. we enjoyed learning our trade, you know, getting mm. two encores in Amsterdam where you would get booed for the first three numbers, yeah, yeah, you know, all of yeah. those things start to come back, they were real, when you felt afterwards, this is real, you know, this is, yeah. this is something that can win mm. people over. Over, uh, uh, this is something that travels the globe. Mm. Um, the last few days, it's not mm. it, well, it's not history in anyone else, but in terms of Simple Minds Camp, mm. it's history. You know, we went there, we did this thing. At some, it was so enjoyable, mm. and and I think you know, um, by and large, it's always been enjoyable. Although I have to admit, at certain times, looking back now. And it's only now I admitted it was more stressful than others. Mm. And uh, but because it always seemed wrong to complain, because basically it was what you always wanted, mm. and mm. so you know, get on with it. But yeah. no, I, the finest hour is when you're in the moment of a new song, yeah. and the possibilities are endless. There's something about it. Wow, you know, and you don't want even dinner time to come. Don't mm. let this thing go, mm. and. I suppose that that's an amateur love still, mm. you know, it's, it's a thing that's not um, eroded by years of, uh, you don't go and thinking, well, we'll know how to sort this one out, they will stick a bridge in it, yeah, if yeah. only it was craftsmanly, yeah. it's, it's so much more, why does this first thing make sense and the next bit doesn't, doesn't and, yeah. and what is the word that would describe this, and, yeah. and the mystery of the whole thing yeah. is such a game then, it's, it's such it's such a sport. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, I think that's the the challenge, I'm sure, for you. Because, as I say, every time you go out and, and, and do something, as much as it's... Is that sort of what it's become? Is that it's you doing it because it's fun for you? Whether people... Well, I mean, obviously, it's important that people get it. But, you know, what, what sort of single part of it is, is the... You know, that gets you out of bed in the morning. When you sort of well, it is the doing it. Yeah, it, it is the doing it, yeah. and it's and it's the life it gave us, mm -hmm. and it is all wrapped, wrapped up. But it is it's the getting out of bed is is not a problem, yeah. even if but to get out, out of bed to do this is so easy. Yeah, and then because this is so all encompassing, you got to get out of bed. Yeah. days where you don't <laughs> don't have to do this yeah. to take care of everything else and enjoy and yeah. have other aspects in your life. Yeah. Um, we've been so blessed with the whole thing. I mean, it, it it's so to to tell the truth about it. Always sounds like gushing, but it it's we really have. And if I'm thankful for one thing, is that uh, I don't think at any time we ever got blasé with it because yeah. I I think in the years to come, when you look back, I think I didn't enjoy that. I complained yeah, well, to the point that you would say, I really don't want to do this anymore. Did you ever get to that point where you no. just thought, no, no. I just can't. No. 
there, were, there were maybe some times where I thought this isn't fun at the moment. Yeah. And yeah, and you think this should be fun. If you can't have fun doing this, what can you have fun? But it doesn't always work out that that way, you know. There's you know relationships involved and there's people involved mm. and it doesn't go straight straightforward. Yeah. And, and your ego sometimes takes a hammer. And, sure. and uh, you know, it's none of that's fun, but. To sit out here, Johannesburg, and have a nice cappuccino. You know, I'm a boy from yeah. Glasgow. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, wearing a nice pair of velvet trousers. Yeah. Life's good. I mean, it's, it's, life is it's good. good. It's good. You know. I mean, you can't question that. Exactly. Uh, no. Yeah, no, you're right. But um, I you mean, know, I actually, yeah. I was I was thinking one thing. One of the greatest moments was because you need critically. Mm. You, you need that too. You need it at, at a certain stage. You especially yeah. need it. Yeah. And when we, we got it, unfortunately, we got that, but we were so in debt. And I remember our, our manager putting together a, a meeting. I was trying to get a mortgage from my, my parents, and he put the meeting together with the Royal Bank of Scotland. And I, I was telling this guy about it all, and he yeah. said, but I don't see you in the charts. And uh, I said, so my motto was to your bank manager, but we're really here. <laughs> <laughs> and he gave me this yeah, look. Like, he said, "Do you want a mortgage based on being hip?" Yeah. Yeah. And I thought it would be nice. Way. <laughs> it must mean it means something. It means something to me. So yeah. um, yeah, yeah. And, and to say, did you get the mortgage? Did yeah. All right. Did, yeah. <laughs> well, probably, Eventually, <laughs> I, I had a man called Richard Branson call him and convince him <laughs> we were indeed a wee bit more than hip. Yeah, I mean because I mean that was. That must have been an interesting time as well, you know, the early stages of the band being on, on a label like this. You know, it was. You were unlike other labels who you'd go in and they would have pictures of James Last or Barry Manilow mm. on the wall. You'd go in there and it would be Captain Beefheart yeah. or John Lydon mm. or, you know, mm. Per Ubu. Or, mm. And it was very exciting. Yeah. Uh, and it was like a squat they were working out of. Or yeah. A squat that they then bought and renovated, but still a squat. Yeah. And uh, it was indeed, yeah. Yeah, I mean, did, did it matter at that point, you know, how big it got? I mean, were you thinking when when the band started that this band's going to be the biggest band in the world? No, there's only one band I believe in the world that's ever thought that, and it's you, you two, and, and they're great for them, they went on. And done yeah. it. But I, I really believe, I don't know if, I think he even told me that they got together and they said, we want to be the best. The biggest, not the best. They say, I think the best goes without saying. <laughs> yes. But they wanted to be the biggest, biggest band in the world, which in a funny way to me seemed such an obscure thing mm. to desire. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because that was, that was never the drive. It was never, no. With us it was so much more, I mean, we, with us it was so much more making it up in the moment. Yeah. We're playing on Croydon tonight. Yeah. Fucking hell, yeah. you know, we, I hear this is a real tough audience. Yeah. And then you would do it. Yeah. And, a year later, it would be we're playing in Hammersmith Dodi, and yeah. wow, you know, if we could do two nights the next time, and gradually we just became a big band. Which I think is probably to your benefit that it did yeah. go that way. And, and you know, so when when people say, when people try and compare with like, even other bands as well, you every every band has its path, and yeah. and, and I, you know, and I think I back it up by people. We never ever had heavyweight management, yeah. and yeah. it was all a bit not amateur by any no, means. No, no. No. But sort of, but it never went over the top. No, it was on the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you when you look at the likes of you two, and you know, for sake of fact that they were, yeah, two nights ago, I still yeah. have pains in my legs, but standing, why yeah, standing, standing. <laughs> eight hours, hours. Yeah, eight eight hours. yeah, it was a, it was good. I must admit, I, I saw we would we managed to. Uh, yeah, so I finished the shoot and I yeah. saw the last, last half. Yeah. It must have been great. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I'd only moved. I'd been in the house about a month or so. And, and I came Excuse out. Excuse me? Are you okay? Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. I came out to check out the sky. And in the courtyard, I heard the scuffling. And I'm thinking, what is this? And I said, hello. You know, I mean, my heart's going yeah. right. And these two real sheepish guys come out from Glasgow with cameras. And I said, you going through my garbage and they were like mm. I said come on and they were like yeah I know yeah I mean I know yeah I said you're gonna say it's your boss and stuff and yeah like, they just uh, you're welcome yeah you know yeah. give me a knock the next time like yeah. let me know if that's yeah. how you 
if that's and the kind of life you're gonna have, yeah. You know? And I think things like like that. I mean, that's 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 what it was, and 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 that's it. And kind of just about just about anyone in our game gets it now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, you see, not, I mean, not that that makes it right. No, and that's the sad thing because the rules change all the time. But by by you releasing a commercial album to a commercial record company who is this great big bank yeah. has a lot of money that we can promote and basically sell your soul in music, um, you don't, you can't argue, you can't say, you know, you can't be precious about it and stand back and say, but it's it, it's just about the art. The art is a vital part to everyone who to it's true. Who listen to it. But you are, you basically giving it out there yeah. and you are selling. So, yeah. unfortunately, as you say, yeah, you get you're, those, you're, those... You're trying to go through the water without getting wet. Yeah. You know, and, and you can't. Uh, and and you, it's very, very difficult. Yeah. You know, it's very, very difficult. Uh, and and no one has any sympathy. No. And, you know, no one gets it. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Go to Barbados <laughs> then and live, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, no one, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of the way it is. I, I think as, you know, as I say, you get a mechanism and Charlie and I will say, We'll get it out of our system, and then we'll get into. We'll be in music land. Mm -hmm. Smaller people around you, yeah. you know, yeah. can't cope with it or don't mm -hmm. know or, or uh, you know, yeah, stuff like like that. Mm -hmm. So it's it's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, don't know if I'll be so quick and <laughs> going out with a showgirl the next time. <laughs> A chorus girl. Okay. Time, yeah. Give me some ID. Let me see. You better, if, if you're in any way remotely attractive, <laughs> you know, happen to have a career in anything in entertainment, I don't want to know about it. I don't want to know these chorus girls yeah. anymore. Are you still? I mean, obviously, would you would you still entertain getting married again? Not while I was doing this. I mean, I I like to think I'm not cynical or I'm better, but. It's, yeah. it, it's why do it not not be there? Yeah. I mean, I, people can't cope with it. I can cope with it, yeah. and I could, yeah. and I never left well, on both occasions. Yeah. So we, <laughs> someone said, you know, they left, you know, yeah. and they also left with somewhere to go. <laughs> I mean, let's, yeah, I mean let's, how does that make you feel? I mean, now that you, yeah, you look at Patsy and you go, oh, you know, uh, she's now, you know, with him. And no, I, it had already gone. It had it, gone. It had yeah, already I mean, gone. there was the gap. It, it already gone. Yeah. It, it, it already diminished. Yes. And, and it's sad, and you yeah. want them to be happy. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, think it's, she is happy? it's a thing. No, I couldn't way. tell you. Yeah. I mean, I. I you don't. She, well, she wouldn't let me tell you. No. <laughs> so, so no, but it's, it's just interesting yeah. because, you know, that you would. You would I, I mean, it is because it's very extreme. They, they're people. They're still people you love, you yes. know, and. And, yeah. uh, and if. In the case of the mothers of your kids, you, mm. for the sake of the kids, mm. it only benefit if the mothers are happy. Mm. Mm. And um, so, I mean, kids. it's bizarre. I mean, my dad's just like, he's like the fucking mansions with you, you know. It's just people all over, and it's unstructured. And, and yeah. yet he says, and everything else you do with your life is apparently I'm sort of yes. meticulous. Yeah. Well, I mean, as I was, as I said to you before, with this, with this case of you know your your life, your personal life, and your and your music life sort of ran in tandem at the time yeah. of both of those things because when when you hit us you know when, when you hit a, a low point yeah that was when the band sort of went whoa yeah but then as I say you come back you, and yeah you, you yeah. come back but every time you come back you come back better I think so you know. I think so I mean I you know what it was too I mean and this sounds sort of callous to the mm. but they were such fantastic challenges mm. you know to, mm. to fall in love and to be with Mm. These kind of women and what was mm. going they they were great. They, I mean, you have to live for something. Mm. Mm. It's all part of it, and sure. and, and um, yeah, you know, and the facts, the figures, the statistics, yeah. what I said, mm. it'll it'll never work. But you, yeah, cast that to the wind. And, yeah, you know, you you move on. And you know, someone said, well, when the other day, someone said, when you were a father. I said, what do you mean when? when I, I, I still am. Yeah. And still it, just, it just goes to a different level. Yes, yeah. and. Um, and for that matter, I could talk tonight to my friends in Glasgow that would be going through a similar thing, yeah. but it's just so much more 
of public yes. you know, interest. Yeah, well, it's... I mean, it's, it's funny. People always want to know other people's pain than they, their own, you know. So they go, oh, well, you know, he's not doing too good. So that actually, because people are envious of other people, you know, I mean, generally, yeah. you know, the fact that, you know, you've had this fantastic career. You, yeah. you still have this great career. Yeah, well, um, uh, people want to know It's not fair, you know. People want to know about it. And yeah. That's... It's not a problem. <laughs> I, it's, it's all... It's all what it is, and it, it all makes for a very mm. rich life. Mm. Mm. Are you are you happy with where you are now? Very happy. I mean, I think uh, I'm tempted to say it's sort of happiest, the most sort of uh, as I'm saying, you know, both both the most sort of driven and at mm. the same time relaxed. Mm. It's all a bit uh, very very creative. Mm. Lots of ideas out, outside of this as well, yeah. and. Um, Totally appreciative and thankful of everything we've sure, had sure. to date. So there's mm. no no feeling of oh, God. I wish that had worked. Or, or yeah. I mean, blessed not only being able to do this, to have good health, and, and even within my, my family, they're still all alive and going well and stuff. Yeah. I mean, there there's be some tough tests up, up the road. So mm. it um, sure. uh, been dealt really such a, a great card. Touch wood. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick. <laughs> but um, I must admit, I found I found the uh, the glitter ball single very interesting. Yeah. With the jam and spoon. Yeah, mixes. and all that stuff going um, on. And it, strangely enough, I I thought it's it's never going to work. Mm. You know, how can such a classic track? Yeah. Or tracks. Yeah, I was work. the same. I was uh, the same. It's to did, me. Did you did you do that intentionally, or did or did the did you say, well, take you know, get a jam and spoon, and say, well, look, take. I want to see what you can do with this. It is to be honest. It's a it's it's a marketing thing, yeah. and they come and they say, give it a go, and we say, okay, who's the hot shots? Yeah. Because I'm not. But it's four in the morning, you know, <laughs> listening to it all. Yeah. And um, they'll say, listen to these guys and listen to this, and we'll say. Let's take a shot on this, and it's yeah. all a bit hit and miss. Yeah. Um, Were you happy with them? Yeah, yeah. happy because I was, I was cynical. I thought we're not going to get away with it. People, yeah. Trendy places aren't going to play it, yeah. and trendy radio won't, and they have. I think because it actually it, it wasn't just typical. Because I was expecting like you know a three and a half minute just Song. rework. Yeah. And they weren't. They were literally yeah. right down. The, which in a way it sort of says a lot about. You know the songs that you've written that because they they, yeah. they they work in a completely different environment altogether. Mm. Something that you personally probably would have never come up with. Yeah, you know. I, I mean, I was cynical, but starting to sort of you know relent because every week more and more of these people are in touch with us, wanting to either sample or give you permission to use yeah. or, or or whatever. So, although I'm saying it's not a culture that's at the top of my mm. yes. Mm. We do have some genetic links to those those kind of sounds. Mm. You know, it's not completely chopping. Yeah. Jeez, there is a history there, and, and um, yeah, it's it's great if they can carry the bottom and take it into yes. an area where again, yes. that's, it's, it's that's what people might have to fight for because yeah. we don't have a single audience now that's no. sitting waiting on the MTV uh, or uh, sitting waiting. Yeah. I think people are so they're good. I thought they'd split up. Oh, yeah. I, I maybe get their album later. Yes, yeah. Or oh, even pick up a single. Up and a it's, single. It's, it's up yeah. to us to get into the place. Yeah, because you are fighting for a smaller piece of a of a market now. Exactly. Ultimately. I mean, even you too have suffered from it. REM suffered from it. Um, you know, um, it's not just a case of, well, yes, you may be the biggest band in the world, but it doesn't translate. You know, the only thing I'd love, I'd love to see how you two would have got on, for instance, you say them because they're, I'd love to see how they've got on with their best album. Yes. I mean, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 Right. I mean, they're my best friends, but yeah, I bet. It, it, it no, wasn't no. a good record. No. I mean, I, no. to see this kind of hype. Yeah. With a great, great record. Yeah. Maybe it would have. But you're right. There is very few. I mean, uh, you think if we're thinking of the '80s, people mm. still. I mean, things diminished. I said, what about Bruce Springsteen? You yeah. Know, yeah. Dire Straits. Um, mm. It's mm. part of the. Mm. It's, it's part of the thing. Mm. Um, there is a, a cycle to it, yeah. And uh, and then I think you then find a niche. I I think I, I mean we're talking to the record company. I said, look, they didn't like you. And I said, you have to let us become some pure term. 
better there is becoming that band for a while. Yeah. Let us, there's no point in us trying to compete with the Verve yeah. or trying to compete with us. Let us go off and do this mad thing that mm. we're going to do. Mm. And I guarantee you, we will find a song mm. eventually mm. that'll just fit. Yeah, and it's and, not and actually about the song, it's just the time. The moment. Yeah, the moment. And it'll fit mm. and it'll be like thrown kerosene yeah. and everything uh, again and uh, you'll get your PD. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, yeah, okay. Yeah, think of it that way. Yeah. Because it is ultimately that way. I mean, I think a lot of bands have suffered from that because the first three albums are expectant and people buy them because of that. But then yeah. later on in your career, it, you have to try a lot. Well, they, they're not as expected. Yeah. You have to wake them up and say, yeah, well, this is it. Yeah. Now we had to see the record company look and we look them in the eyes and say, you've all been paid. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be fucking greedy. <laughs> we have to do this. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. we've been paid as well, but yeah. you've really been paid. Mm. Mm. We're yeah. going to do this. And it's the way, way, way we're going to go, and, and don't don't get disillusioned. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay.